what happened there uh, when we were we were attacked by the police um, all of a sudden people weren't coming in I could look at something's happening out there what's going on and I didn't know he was a state trooper but he banged me up against there was a metal frame on the door well after they slammed me around and we said what's going on um, they're grabbing the money out of the cash box. I look outside, it looks like a war out there. In the meantime, my son is saying, don't hurt my mom, don't hurt my mom, because they're yanking me around. And um, I said, I'm okay, Adam. And um, finally they said, well, you're going out of here, Adam. You're out the door. So he said, okay. He starts walking from behind the counter. He comes around, a woman state trooper, grabs him and says, you're under arrest, and tries to put his arms around him. There's five of them. They throw him down on the ground. They're saying, put your leg down, put your leg down. Well, the way they had pulled him down, one leg was up behind him. Suddenly, I hear this loud snap. My son goes, ah, oh, this loud yell. They'd broken his leg. I mean, it was atrocious, and I kept saying, what's going on? What's going on? We didn't see that warrant until... Two people were taken off to the hospital, people thrown on the ground. The pain will never go away. It never will. But we still go every year on the anniversary. Sometimes there's a few people, sometimes a few more. People from other cultures to come and support us. But not once. It's the town of Charlestown. It's the state police. It's the state of Rhode Island come and apologized. And they need to. Because I'm going to keep telling this story so that the littlest kids on up will know. And one day, they're going to wake up and they're going to say, we did the Narragansett people wrong.